guys i want to make a quick disclaimer i've been crying for the past three hours so if i look a little bit raunchy it's because i'm going through a mental breakdown all right so in today's video i wanted to do a video about how i would rebrand some of my favorite apps a lot of people get really fucking confused when i tell them i run a media agency like i swear to god my friends my family my relatives they think they know what i do for a living they're like jade you make youtube videos but how does it actually make money and it's really hard to tell them that you know what i do for a living is help brands with their marketing campaigns because in reality everyone thinks i'm unemployed just making videos for fun but that's okay because I'm about to show you guys what I actually do for work, how I would treat a brand if they were my client, and some of the past projects I've been working on. So if you wanna know more about what I do at my company, X8 Media, then uh, keep on watching. All right, so the first brand we're gonna renovate and rebrand is da -da -da -da, Notion. Yes. So Notion is one of my favorite note-taking apps. It's literally the sexier, better version of Google Drive. Sorry, Google. But they're not my client, but I fucking love their product and I want to rebrand them. I really like Notion's look. It's just one of the most beautiful aesthetics, but I find that one of the things in their marketing that they lack in is targeting a younger audience. Like Notion's really popular for a millennial working audience, but for a lot of Gen Z, they're not as popular. So I'm going to be rebranding, rebooting some fresh marketing so they can be hip and young to target a a younger demographic so typically brands do come with me for that reason i'm not going to assume notion wants to target a young hip crowd but since i'm not actually working with notion i just have to make this shit up okay so let's just roll with it any brand that works with my agency goes through three parts so we have the first stage which is this discovery stage the second stage is where we set up the campaign and the third stage is when we fuel the campaign with influencers typically this is a six month duration we're gonna do this in one hour for you guys so bear with me all right I pull up typically, ironically, a Notion page when I get started with the discovery stage. And this stage is when I ask the client what their goals are and what their problems are in their business. All right, so I'm just gonna assume that a goal Notion might have is to increase revenue by attracting a younger audience. Gen Z is one of the fastest growing demographics. It's basically anyone that's before the age of 25 right now. And it's a harder market just because Gen Z's attention span's a little shorter, it's really fast growing, and sometimes bigger tech companies have a hard time relating to it you might be wondering jade why do brands want to target young people well if a demographic slash gen z is a fast growing pool of people and their goal is to make more revenue by having more paid subscriptions then by targeting gen z you're able to make more revenue through that audience it's just like how netflix is such a huge part of the youth culture is why they're able to be a multi-gajillion dollar company so that's just kind of why brands are super intrigued by gen z lately and why a company helps with that the second question i always ask in the discovery phase is what is preventing this brand from getting there? If I were to just like look at Notion right now, I would say the number one reason why maybe they're not like attracting a younger, younger demographic or someone under 25 is just because their overall brand is very safe and very minimalistic. And not to say that's not attractive for a young crowd, but I definitely think their brand voice is less strong for a younger group. You know, brands like Supreme are super young and fresh. I hate that word, <laughs> but the reason why is because their apparel, their marketing is a lot more bold and edgy. So maybe potentially one of the problems they're facing is just a lack of alignment with their brand voice. Notion does a lot of marketing through YouTube, but something that I don't see them doing is TikTok. So there could potentially be a problem where on the awareness level, they're not showing up on people's pages. All right, so with that being said, we just did a whole month's worth of discovery. We found out that the client's goals is to target a Gen Z demographic to increase paid subscriptions. And the problem that's preventing from getting there is a lack of a strong brand voice and also a lack of brand awareness. So this is where X8 Media comes in and we fix these problems. All right, so moving to part two, let's set up this campaign. So there's really two problems, right? There's the brand voice and then there's the awareness. We're first gonna get started with fixing the brand voice before moving on to like the awareness strategy. So what the fuck is brand voice? So brand voice is what the brand stands for and how it sounds. Essentially, it's if you close your eyes, how does this brand sound? Take Nike, for example. If you were to close your eyes, how does the brand sound? It might sound motivating, it might sound just just do it. It might sound inspiring, right? There's so many videos that I personally watch that make me correlate Nike to 
motivation and just doing it. For Notion, when we close our eyes, how do we want this brand to sound? I said that their brand voice is quite soft. It's a little bit minimalistic. It's a bit more subtle. So because of that, I think we'll really need to amplify it to make it more stand out. You know, if I were to go on their website, I can see that they have a lot of great features, but there's a lot of, you know, rational points, but a lack of an emotional points. And if you guys don't know, you know, marketing takes both emotional and rational benefits for a consumer to take action. Boy, those were just a lot of words. <laughs> so with improving Notion's brand voice, these are some questions I ask myself when developing the sound of the brand. First question, really important is who are we trying to target? Like who exactly is going to love Notion in the Gen Z demographic? The next question is what makes this specific person get excited? Like what are some of their values? You know, what do they care about? And lastly, the why. You know, why does this person care so much about this value? And by answering the who, what, and why, we're really able to build the brand voice. If we don't know who we're targeting, we don't know what motivates them and why they want it, it's really hard to find those emotional points. And a lot of the times with my clients, we sometimes stay at this stage of research for literally months at a time. It's super Super, super important to nail down the brand voice before setting up any marketing. And this is where I see a lot of brands fuck up. Like they just jump to setting up campaigns and brand awareness and setting up Facebook ads without understanding the voice and what you want to say to the world. Like there were so many times where I would spend a budget for a brand and we just realized there was no brand voice and there was nothing being said and we just wasted a lot of marketing dollars. So I think this part of the video is super important, so take notes if you may. I'm gonna go quickly fill this out and come right back, and when I'm back, we're gonna have the brand voice set up, and I'll show you guys what I have. And we're back, bitches! I'm so stoked with this character slash target audience I made. I think it's really, really aligned with what Notion's going for, so let me go into it. All right, so the who in who we're targeting in this campaign is this character I made up called Kara. So Kara is 18 years old. She's female. She's a student and a YouTuber living in the US. I estimated the market size potential as around 500,000 people total. This number, by the way, if you're curious, is a number I really include in any campaign I go for just because a lot of brands, what they look for is, you know, how much revenue they'll make. So if Notion was able to capture the Kara demographic in the US, right, and they capture 20% of the market, right? That is around 100,000 potential new users. If they captured, you know, 100,000 new users and their product is $10 a month, that's an additional $1 million a month that this campaign is worth. So that number really helps deliver the ROI for a brand. You know, obviously you're not gonna be able to capture all people all the time, but it gives the brand the ability to envision what their potential is. So that's why I included this number. Now, moving on to the what. This Kara character, I have kind of imagined as someone who values making videos on their free time, but still getting good grades. I wrote down that this girl probably has a bullet journal and some sort of planner, but it's just hard for her to keep up with it. The why and what really motivates her and her values is just because she just wants a balanced life. I saw this girl just feeling like she's wanting to move to New York and be successful so she can stop people pleasing. I see this girl really struggling to balance her business, her school and her friends group because it's just hard to do all that at once. And she's just feeling unsure about the future. Maybe her parents don't support her her YouTube side or her creative side or her friends. And I think she's just trying to figure it all out. So as you can see, this is who we're trying to target. So now we moved on to the video where we talk about how the fuck we're gonna reach this Kara person. I call this creating a campaign brief, essentially the strategy we're gonna use to target this character and grow the Notion business. So when it comes to reaching a specific audience, I ask myself these three questions. First, I ask myself, what communities is she already in? The second question is, what will make Kara take action? So in this case, you know, what will make Kara download the Notion app. And the third thing is how do we put it all together? Like how do we reach this person and then make her take action? Just linking those two things and building a bridge. I'm going to go answer these questions with you guys. I know it's kind of weird to type all these things out, but you're going to see at the very end how I deliver campaigns for my clients and how of a long journey this is. You know, sometimes we stay on the research and the discovery and the campaign briefing for like months before we even get started with producing the content and executing the strategy. And as I've been doing marketing for the past three years, Years, it's always so hard because, you know, I think one of the things I've recently learned is a lot of marketing is psychology. It's like understanding per people. It's like, you know, targeting someone not to sell them something, but to add value to them. And I think it was only this year when I realized that 
the brand voice is nothing more than just, you know, do you have empathy for people? And it's weird to think that my business, you know, is obviously the goal is to make money. But at the end of the day, the real goal is just to empathize with people. And that's what marketing truly is. It's about seeing people for who they are and relating to them. And it's really impactful skill once you do it a few more times. And if you're in my case, you've been doing this for three years and sometimes you lose money doing this. But at the end of the day, I think I'm just really passionate about working with brands that I love, helping people and targeting people that will benefit from the product. And it's a, all in all a great experience. So we're going to all put this together. But if you guys are interested in starting your own business or creating marketing campaigns, I hope this video was a little bit helpful. Smash the thumbs up button if you thought it was helpful because it does help me out and I would really appreciate it. All right, so where does Kara hang out in? I would say Kara would probably watch a lot of TikTok. I just see her. Maybe Kara is just me. Honestly, Kara is just a version of me. I see her, you know, already engaging in a lot of bullet journal communities. I see her watching a lot of videos like Best Dressed, James Charles, and Emma Chamberlain. And yeah, that kind of wraps up where Kara will hang out. Now, this question is really interesting, which is what will make Kara take action? It's basically asking ourselves, like, how do we increase Notion's value to the specific user? I think that for a lot of the times when it comes to balancing school and maybe another hobby, a lot of people People will tell you it's a waste of time and since time is what we're trying to sell you know this campaign on i think we can position notion as a product where not only can you save time but because you save time you can manage your dreams and goals and actually achieve them i like this already all right so now we've arrived to the part where i get scared with any project you know this is the part where shit gets scary like we know why we're here we're trying to target Kara. Kara, you know has a couple issues with organizing her life but at the end of the day she just really wants to achieve her goals but her surrounding friend groups or parental figures tell her it's sometimes a waste of time and we're really just trying to position Kara's needs with notion and target her using influencers so honestly putting it all together is sometimes the most scary part of my work just because with one fatal mistake you could be spending so much money in the wrong direction so I think for this campaign specifically, I think the best way to go about this is after this break. All right, guys, and we're back. So I went ahead and not only finished the presentation for Notion to finally pitch to you guys, so you guys can not only see what a marketing campaign looks like, but what the fuck I do in real life, <laughs> but I also ran my presentation through my design team. My design team does a lot of graphics, web design, presentation building, just so things look pretty. So I have the final product here to share with you. Let's get started. Before we begin, I want you to pretend that you are the client. Imagine you're the CEO of Notion. Okay, get your acting hats on. Imagine that I am the marketing agency you're hired and I'm trying to make you feel like you spent money in the right areas. All right, and scene. Hi, welcome to today's presentation. I will be talking about the Notion social media strategy to increase Gen Z awareness. Let's get started. This year, Notion has a goal to increase Gen Z paid subscription because it's one of the untapped markets that Notion hasn't tapped into. And secondly, we found out that there is a lack of brand awareness with Gen Z. Now, let's talk about who Gen Z is and who we're trying to target. So what I did is create a audience profile. This audience profile explains who we're trying to target that will increase your guys' sales goals. So for this example, we created this audience named Kara. We measured that the current market size potential is around 500,000 people. Now you might be wondering, this is really great, but why is this important to Notion? The importance of this Notion is astronomical. By just targeting Kara, which is a 500,000 market potential, say we convert 20% of those users and 100,000 users sign up, you'd be able to generate $1 million in new monthly revenue. All right, so let's talk about our campaign to target Kara. Introducing Note to Self by Notion. So what is the Note to Self campaign? Note to Self starts with this why. See, Note to Self is not just another marketing campaign to get another million dollars. It's about addressing a deeper problem. Right now, Gen Z, we feel this lack of self-belief. We, we go to school and work and forget to check in with ourselves. I feel like in so much of society is built for us to hustle and work hard. And we almost just live to work. We don't really work to live. And goal setting is so important, but it's also so much more important to check in with yourself. The campaign Note to Self is about checking in with yourself. It's about asking about your mental health. It's about making sure your goals are aligned with what you actually want and to document your personal journey. Note to Self 
has four stages of the campaign. So let's get started with stage one, creating the original series. So the original series is where five influencers that are some of the top Gen Z creators share their notes about themselves, share their personal thoughts that they learned throughout their entrepreneurial and career journey. These are the top influencers that we connected with. Tiffany, Vanessa, Max, Nicole, and Abigail have over 10 million total followers. The original series will take place on YouTube. Every episode, it will highlight a single influencer and their journey throughout their success and how they were able to check in with their mental health throughout the journey. Not only will this attract the influencer's audience, but it also will bring so much traffic to Notion because you're partnering up with Gen Z creators that already have that deep connection with their fans. Stage two is when influencers will create their own Notion board. Obviously, your guys' goal is to have traction conversion onto your product, so each influencer will create their own Notion template. So after the audience watches the video, they can go download Notion and have the influencer's template. So this will allow people to have a smooth transition from being a viewer to a customer. And we're even taking this further. Stage three, we're gonna have a virtual museum of notes where once a month we debut everybody's notes to themselves on a wall. This of course will be a virtual museum walkthrough where we'll create a 360 video of everybody's notes to self that they submitted and it's gonna be on a wall and then everyone can walk through virtually this museum and understand that everybody has these notes to themselves and that you're not alone. And a lot of people share the same struggles and problems and it's so important to put this all on a wall so we not only can connect the influencers but the fans and the audience and the community of people documenting their notes to self. What would marketing be without a solid product? People need reminders. People need to be reminded of something that's important to them. So the last stage of this campaign is to create a note to self card game where people can ask deep questions with their friends in order to develop more meaningful connections and have more ideas to talk to themselves. So often we have to discover ourselves through people we talk to and we're able to see and learn more about who we are based on conversations we have. So this card game will not only increase sales and revenue on Notion, but it's a fun way to keep people excited about noting to themselves and checking in with their mental health and asking themselves how they're doing. Thank you so much for listening to today's presentation. I'll take any of your guys' questions. And scene. Okay, guys, so I got not gonna lie, I was kind of nervous because I thought the presentation was beautiful and sometimes I do these things and it works out really well and sometimes I do these things and they don't. I just wanna share with you guys how my work looks like day to day. These are presentations that I genuinely do pitch and sometimes will get rejected by, but I'd love to know your thoughts about the Note to Self campaign. Let me know in the comments what you think. I would love to hear if this is something that you'd say that you'd be into if you saw Notion produce this. And hey, if you are a team member from Notion and you wanna bring this to life, hit me up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a glimpse of my work life, what I do for clients, and something that makes me genuinely so fired up every day, which is creating campaigns that connect people. Because I think a lot of brands struggle to connect people because they don't lack the purpose and the why. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but this entire presentation was really built on a sole purpose of making people check in with their mental health and taking notes to themselves and journaling and reflecting on their lives and not to get caught up in the goals and busyness of the world. All right, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, just comment below. I pick a winner every single week who comments anything. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Like this video, subscribe. I love you, Darmination.